What's up you guys, Chris Go here. So I'm going to show you guys how to edit the animation of an idle biped or a weapon or an object. Okay, so first thing that you gotta do is start up the map that you want on your ascension. Make sure that you've started your Halo Reach up on your uh, real-time XEXs. In your ascension, just scroll down to JMAD or animation. Open that up. Now scroll on down until you find the object or animation that you want. I'm going to be doing an elite. Let's scroll down to animation calls now. Okay. So now that we're on the animation calls and our game is started, let's open up our notepad that I gave you. Here it shows campaign elite idle. So this is going to be a, or a elite that's in any of the campaign missions. Now we're going to see this elite idle with sword. So the animation calls that's going to be one showing that it's going to be idle. Animation calls is going to be six or sorry object is going to be six and that's going to be the sword. So let's go here. Animation calls needs to be one, and objects weapons needs to be six. He's holding a sword, and he's in idle. Now let's scroll down to full animations. Let's go back into our notepad and see what it says. It shows take one and place it in the other boxes. One is going to be that number right there, so let's find it. Whoop. My bad. Just got Windows 7, still finding out how to use it. <laughs> okay, so go down to full animations and go to one. That's two. One. Now, copy over that number by pushing control C. Now let's go back to our notepad. It shows two is turn left. So what if we want to make the elite turn left while well, he's just standing there? Well, two has to be that number. So let's go into number two, cop or go over that number, and then push control V paste in that number that you copied earlier. Push poke changes. Successfully poke changes. Alright, now we gotta make it so we actually spawn the elite. Because I forgot to do this. So I'm going to just go down here to Maytag and open this. The reason that I uh, am spawning the elite with a grenade is because most of the time when you're shooting a biped out with a gun it'll freeze your xbox so I prefer using grenades okay when this tab opens up just go ahead and pick the biped or object that you're choosing I'm doing an elite so biped elite and push ok and then push poke changes successfully poke changes now let's go back to our game and see what's going on so I'm going to throw my grenade and look at that the elites moving. Now remember once you get that checkpoint this is going to be act actually be able to save on a retail game save. So let's say you want your friends to see all this stuff too. You could make them a game save and they'll have moving bipeds. It's pretty cool. Alright now let's go back to our ascension. Let's pick something a little bit harder to do this time. So let's say he wants to hop 180. Huh, I wonder what that is. So let's see here. Let's change it to do this. So to do a hop 180, 11, 12, 13, and 14 must be zero. So let's go back to our J mod. So 11, push a number zero, poke changes. 11, 12, 
folk changes. 13. And 14. Must all be 0. Now 15 is the one that we want. Because in our notepad, hop 180 is number 15. And we're just going to go over that number and do control V to paste in that number that we copied over earlier and push poke changes. Now on our game we just throw a new grenade and look at that he's doing a hop with a 180 in it. Remember these are going to be able to be on game saves. Please don't forget to give me credit for actually making this tutorial because it took me a long time to actually figure out everything in the plugin tag and to make everything that was in the notepads. I am going to be releasing more notepads eventually just so people don't actually have to do them themselves. I have a couple more to give out and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to send me a message if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.